In pharmacology, understanding how drugs interact with the human body is crucial for developing effective medications and optimizing therapeutic outcomes. One important concept that influences drug distribution and elimination is ion trapping. Ion trapping plays a significant role in drug pharmacokinetics, affecting drug movement across cell membranes and altering drug concentrations in different body compartments. This essay explores the fundamental principles of ion trapping in pharmacology, its significance in drug actions, and its impact on drug disposition. 1. Pharmacokinetics, an overview. Pharmacokinetics refers to the study of how drugs move within the body, involving four essential processes, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination, ADME. The distribution process plays a vital role in determining a drug's concentration in various tissues and fluids, influencing its therapeutic effects and potential side effects. 2. Ionization of drugs. Many drugs used in pharmacology are weak acids or bases, meaning they can exist in both ionized and non-ionized forms depending on the surrounding pH. In physiological environments, ionization of drugs is influenced by the pH of the medium, such as the gastrointestinal tract, blood, or cellular compartments. 3. Ion Trapping Mechanism Ion trapping occurs when a drug's ionized form cannot efficiently cross a cell membrane due to its charge. This leads to an accumulation of the ionized drug on one side of the membrane, resulting in a concentration gradient across the membrane. As a consequence, the drug becomes trapped in that particular compartment. The direction of ion trapping depends on the pH gradient between two compartments and the pKa of the drug. For weak acids, pKa of the acidic group, ion trapping occurs when the pH of the compartment is higher, more basic, than the pKa. Conversely, for weak bases, pKa of the basic group, ion trapping occurs when the pH of the compartment is lower, more acidic, than the pKa. 4. Clinical Implications 4.1. Tissue Selectivity Ion trapping can lead to drug accumulation in specific tissues or organs, affecting drug distribution. For example, weak bases are likely to accumulate in acidic environments like lysosomes and endosomes, influencing drug targeting and diseases where these cellular compartments play a significant role such as certain cancers. 4.2. Urinary excretion, ion trapping in the kidneys is an essential mechanism for drug elimination. The kidney's tubular fluid is typically more acidic than plasma, which means weak bases with a pKa above the tubular fluid's pH will become trapped and remain in the tubules, ultimately being excreted in the urine. 4.3. Gastrointestinal absorption, ion trapping also influences drug absorption from the gastrointestinal tract. If the pH of the gut is such that the drug exists predominantly in its ionized form, it will be less readily absorbed, impacting bioavailability. 5. Factors affecting ion trapping. Several factors can influence the extent of ion trapping, including 5.1. pH gradient. The pH difference between compartments plays a crucial role in determining the degree of ion trapping. Manipulating the pH through co-administration of acidifying or alkalinizing agents can be a pharmacokinetic strategy to enhance drug effects or minimize side effects. 5.2. Lipid solubility. The lipid solubility of a drug affects its ability to diffuse across cell membranes. Highly lipophilic drugs may still penetrate cell membranes despite ion trapping. 5.3. Blood perfusion. The rate of blood flow to a tissue or organ can impact the distribution of ionizable drugs. Higher blood flow may facilitate drug redistribution and reduce the extent of ion trapping. Conclusion Ion trapping is a fundamental concept in pharmacology, affecting drug distribution, elimination, and therapeutic effects. Understanding the pH-dependent ionization of drugs and its impact on cellular transport and tissue distribution is essential for developing optimal drug therapies. Pharmacologists and clinicians must consider the principles of ion trapping when designing drug regimens to ensure safe and effective treatments for patients. Through further research in this area, we can continue to refine drug development and improve patient outcomes. Thank you for watching, and be sure to talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions or concerns about your medications and any health conditions you may have. Disclaimer, the information presented in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have heard or seen in this video. We would like to express our gratitude to our sponsor. 
First Cup Coffee, the original seed, for making this video possible. Shop First Cup Coffee USA.com. First Cup Coffee, the original seed is dedicated to providing high quality coffee that fuels your studies and work with a rich and invigorating taste. We appreciate their support in bringing you valuable, free educational content. Remember to visit firstcupcoffeeusa.com for your daily dose of exceptional coffee. That's a wrap for today's lesson. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more educational content. Take care, keep studying, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!